your husband is having an affair. Oh, God. Your friends or mutual friends start acting suspiciously around you. Mike. Mike? Yes. Mike has not been able to look me straight in the eye for about two months. But Mike's got a squint. He can't look anybody straight in the eye. Starts wearing aftershave in the morning. Takes more pride in his appearance. Cool water for men. Ironing your shirts. Jesus, Jacob. As I remember, you used to like it. Yeah, that was about five years ago. I like 212 on a man now. You know, it wouldn't kill you to tell me. Anyway, that's that's not the point. So you admit it, then? If it means admitting it was a last-ditch effort to get you into the site... Ah! ..becomes more interested in sex and wants it more often. It's been eight bloody months, Maria. It could drop off and you wouldn't notice. My name is Philippa and I work with Jacob. Uh, I've worked with him for five years. I'm his boss, actually. Um, so we were colleagues, then friends, and then it changed into something else. I knew it. You fucking bastard. Fine, yes. I slept with her, but we didn't have sex or anything. Christ. But did you kiss her? Yes. Uh, straight to skin. <sighs> well, we both know why, don't we? Let's talk about Trigger Happy 64, shall we? Hello. I'm, um, Trigger Happy 64, and I go on internet chat rooms, which are specifically for um, people with marital problems, and I go there to meet women. What the fuck does Trigger Happy 64 mean, anyway? I don't know. Is this a name? I used to be, um, Hot Stuff 39. Uh, in fact, it backfired a bit because the first time I, I, I actually met somebody that I'd been virtually chatting to. Uh, we met in a, in a, in a restaurant and um, she got quite, quite upset. She, she called me a liar uh, and quite loudly and, and, um, and she left the restaurant I mean, almost straight away. Have I ever used chat rooms? Yeah, I used them a lot when my husband first left. I actually did meet up with one of those people. What was his name? Uh, stuff. Is it? Buff stuff. 37, that was it. Let's just say I left the restaurant immediately. So I, I, um, I changed my name to Trigger Happy 64. <laughs> well, it's sort of in joke. Um, uh, but I hope people don't really make the cut. Some do. It's, it's about premature ejaculation. Um, uh, yeah. But, uh, and 64, I guess, is nearer my age. So if anyone wants to read that into it. You had no right to check my internet history. Ah, oh, here we are. A cyber sex addict will spend more and more time online focused on sexual or romantic relationships. I'm not an addict. I'm not. They will engage in online fantasy acts which are immoral or illegal. Oh, don't be sick. I don't even have a webcam. Oh, well, what's your name? Frigid Bitch 38. Actually, it's Flora 29. Oh, here we are. They, they will get increasingly angry or irritated when asked to give up online involvement to engage in real life relationships. How many times have I asked you to switch off the computer and come to bed? What do I get? You go up and I'll come up when I'm good and bloody ready. Have you had, have you had the cyber sex? Oh, uh, well, we, we did just try, but it wasn't exactly. I wasn't terribly comfortable. I, I tried to respond, but I wasn't really very good at it. I suppose in a way, uh, I don't have that much experience anyway. It's something that you didn't fuck her. He's tried. But I explained that I just wanted to lie with someone and 
he, he understood. It was rather sweet, actually. How did we get here? The thing with loneliness is not coming home to an empty house. It's when you're lying in bed at night and you move the spare pillow so it's vertical and close your eyes and pretend that it's someone lying there with you. I, I never did get married. Um, no, I, I, I missed out on that. It's, but I see what happens in marriages and the problems they have and the arguments they have. Probably a good thing. And I'm... I don't know I'd be very good at it, really. I'm... I quite... I quite like being alone. While you're up to God knows what time, typing one-handed with your cyber wanker, I was lying in our bed, waiting for you. I don't know why you bothered. Didn't you know how angry I was? Am with you. So this whole mess is my fault because I'm not fucking psychic. Psychic? <laughs> psychic? Sentient would be nice. So how long has this been going on? What, TH64? Or chat rooms in general? Both. About the year? But about eight months with TH64. I mean, you and me, we weren't. I felt invisible. But it's not like I didn't feel guilty, but it was just friendly at first. So hang on a minute. Eight months ago. The last time that we made love was just before you met him. It was just after. I said I felt guilty. Guilty? My own wife gave me a pity shag. I've just reached a whole new level of pathetic. Don't give me that. What about all the times in the year prior to that when I tried to get you to even look at me? Like when? Like Christmas Eve. When you came home from work and I was naked, apart from a big red bow stuck on my... And you just grunted and turned on the television set. I thought I was getting a PlayStation. Fuck you. I'm not breaking up a marriage or anything, you know. These women uh, on these chat rooms, um, they are kind of vulnerable uh, and uh, easy to approach, because they want something safe. They want someone to talk to, maybe a shoulder. Yeah. Maria. Leave me alone. I didn't mean... Yes, you did. It's just you and some fucking bloke. It it kills me. Well, I'm not the only one who's messed yeah, up. Yeah, I know. You don't... I know. I know. It's just after... It feels like I've lost you to it. Have I? Have I lost you to it? It took me an hour to peel off that bow. And contrary to what Google says, it does not feel like ripping off a Band-Aid. Remember that Christmas in Yorkshire? The twist was my idea. name? I was married for a number of years, but he had an affair. 
Um, my heart didn't break when he left. It was my pride that was damaged. His betrayal made me look a fool. Having to stand there and take that cliché, it's different with her, we just couldn't help ourselves. As if there was no choice. You could always help yourself. Tell me. Does it really matter? Her name, Jacob. Philippa. What work, Philippa? Oh, my God. You fucking kidding me? I don't think it would be appropriate if I was. <laughs> She's so uptight. She makes me look like a fucking slinky. Well, actually, once you get to know, she's... Do you love her? Do I love him? It was never about love. I got bored with using my pillow. Maria, no, I don't. I may have to change my name after this. Well, she found out sooner or later anyway. And, uh, but I'll just carry on. I mean, there are plenty more forlorn fish in the virtual sea out there. <laughs> um, this work, which I enjoy. I suppose there's always the pillow. A mess. I just, I just can't get over the fact that you had an affair. It was hardly an affair. I didn't have sex with oh, her. Oh, you keep saying that as if it makes it okay. It's the emotional betrayal I can't stomach, Jacob. But well, what about you? That wasn't an emotional betrayal. I don't know what is. I just wanted you to talk to me. And... You preferred talking to her. It wasn't about talking. Lovely. <laughs> Thanks for establishing that. It was about feeling needed by someone, anyone. At least about children, it'll make it easier. Make what easier? Getting divorced. A divorce? Is that what you want? I don't know. You know, if you cheat, then, then that's supposed to be it, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just all fucking shades of grey. What do you want? I don't know. Oh, what happens now? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Twister.